So what are some established prognostic factors in MS? I think before answering this question, we first need to think about why optimizing prognosis in MS is important. Of course, it's a very challenging topic, but if we were to come up with some reliable prognostic factors, we will be able to help the patients through a more tailored approach. When we think about prognosis, we first need to think about the outcomes that we want to predict. So I think there are two main important outcomes. One is the switches between phases and phenotypes, and the second one is disability worsening, which is mainly measured by the change in EDSS. And when we look at the first outcome, the switches between phases and phenotypes, what do I mean by that? So what are the predictive factors for transitioning from clinically isolated syndrome to clinically definite MS? Younger age at onset, having high T2 lesion burden, and having CSF overgrown bands are among predictive factors. How about the predictive factors for transitioning from radiologically isolated syndrome to MS? Again, younger age at onset, being male, having spinal cord and infratentorial lesions, and again, the presence of overgrown bands are among predictive factors. So I think we start to see a theme here. If we were to group these predictive factors, there would be demographic factors, which would include age, sex, race and ethnicity, environmental and modifiable factors. And then we would have comorbidities and clinical, radiological, and laboratory biomarkers of prognosis.